Well, hello. It's a rainy day today. And I think I'm going to make some cookies. Sam's downstairs prepping his uh, tomato cell pack um, process. So I'm going to go down and see what he's doing. But at any rate, I think we're going to make oatmeal raisin cookies, but without the raisins. I'm going to put chocolate chips in instead. I think plantation mint tea sounds pretty good on a rainy day. So I came down to see what Sam was doing. We still have some butternut squash left and some sweet potatoes. But Sam has a new um, creation here. And I'm going to let him talk about it. But uh, Sam, why don't you go ahead and say what, tell the people what you're doing here. This well, is our canning room. This is kind of a canning room where we keep canned goods and junk and everything. Because we're good Americans. We've got more junk than we know what to do with. But anyway, this is my new facility. Uh-huh. Now, what this is, this is going to be mostly for tomatoes because this has the uh, LED lights on it. Mm -hmm. These are, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's kind of. They're really colorful. It's kind of blotting out on this. Well, maybe it'll come out different yeah, these in the video. Are ba basically shop lights yeah. that you get at Lowe's that I put LED bulbs in there. Now, I don't know how it works now, but this was, I did this last year. And you can't just replace the white fluorescent bulbs with the LEDs. You got to get another, you either got to buy it with the LED bulbs in it, or you got to get another ballast and wire that up. But anyway, that's beside the point. Yeah, let's, let's talk about what this is. What this is, this is a coat rack, like a Kmart, or do they even have Kmarts? But anyway, like a like at a place that sells clothes. Mm -hmm. And these are adjustable. These arms go up and down. And I got some for the other side too if I want to expand. And the table it goes up and down. And you know, if I want the plants closer, I can put something underneath them. I usually start them off real close. Uh -huh. And then bring them down as they grow. But um, this is kind of neat. You know, it, it all kind of worked out with the measurements. And this is just a regular old you know, yard sale kind of table. One of those like resin put, tables, You know, I little knickknacks on them. And we stuff got the and, coat rack from church. And, and they were um, uh, getting rid of them, and I thought, well, let's get one. We we don't know what we'll use it for, but we'll find something. And yeah, look. it's on wheels, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's on this wheels. This stuff I can roll all around. I can double yeah. this, the uh, capacity of this because there's arms like this. These move up and down. they got little pins. they uh -huh. adjustable. And... Uh, I could double the capacity of this, but okay. I like it. I had to come up with something for the tomatoes because they they grow different. They need rest. You got to turn the light on them, off them, or they'll they'll fall apart. Now this is our cabbage and stuff. No, right? this is or lettuce. lettuce. This is lettuce. Yeah, and the cabbage is in the other room. We just put this under here so you get an idea. Yeah, well, this this will be going out in about two or three weeks. And the cabbage might be going out next week. It's it's really growing along pretty good. And I got the spot prepped for it and all. It's all ready to go. So next week's supposed to be real nice weather. So I might get out there and get her in the ground. All right. Well, but we're not going to keep you. I just wanted to take a break from cookie making and yeah, see what you were doing. Yeah, this is our facility. I mean, yeah. I know what y'all are thinking. And... Uh, <laughs> Keep thinking that way. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. Works for everyone. Okay. So. I'm going back upstairs. Good job, else. Sammy. Good job. Okay, I'm back upstairs. I've got all my ingredients together for my cookies, which are oatmeal raisin cookies, minus the raisins, plus the chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. not, a, not a big raisin fan. Anyway, um... We have a half a cup of butter, a cup of brown sugar, um, some vanilla, one large egg. Ooh, I got some yolk in there. Oh, well, I guess that's okay. I got uh, one, just one yolk. So, let's see what we're doing. In here in the little dry ingredients, we've got, let's see, 
half teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Got a cup of flour, cup and a half of oatmeal, and some chocolate chips. So I'm going to mix it all together and put it in my KitchenAid, get it all mixed up, and then we'll uh, start baking. This is what the dough looks like pretty much when you've got them all mixed up. I put a cup of chocolate chips in. I don't know if I said that earlier in the video. And I have my little cookie scoop. I have two sizes. This is the smaller one. Only because I don't want to make huge cookies for, for this particular cookie baking event. So I've got my little, my little sheet pan here, which I think I got at, I want to say, Costco or one of those warehouse clubs. Like, I bet I have bought this thing about 20 years ago and look at it it still looks great you know how some cookie sheets get all stained up and stuff and then my sister-in-law had bought me one of these um silicone cookie sheets or you know mats to put on for cookies actually it's on my other cookie sheet and I ended up getting another one because I liked it so well cookies don't burn but this is the size I want to do and we're going to put them in the oven at 350, it says 13 minutes. My oven heats a little cooler than normal. Probably needs an adjustment. But uh, I'll let you know exactly how much time we bake them for. Well, here's the finished product. They spread a little, but that's okay. I think they look good. And I think they'll be tasty. That's it.